So Genshin Impact just recently released a teaser regarding Fontaine and I'm wilding right now because they are teasing a lot of things in here all at once, especially the Archons. The first thing I'm going to mention is these two people. At first glance, you may think that the first person and the next one is the same people, the net. But what if I told you that they're a different person, on the Genshin Impact Japanese Twitter account, there are apparently two different people. The person who is droning is called Fremenet. Now who is this mysterious Fremenet, and why is he droning? He might have some connection to Linny and Lynette, obviously. I mean, they looked kinda similar. Next one is the seemingly witch character that looks like Lisa, that is called Anavia. You know the first thing that I thought when I see her? Hex and Circle. She might be one of the Hex and Circle. I'm 1000% sure of it. That means that besides Alice and theoretically the Rhine Daughter, we finally saw another one of the Hex and Circle again. But I might be wrong though. There's just something so witchy about her. At least we could see that Navia has a Geovision on her and finally, it's been 84 years. Another Geo character. Did I told you that Fontaine is also some kind of a reunion? I'm not talking about the Genshin character, but the voice actor. Especially the Japanese one. That is because Nubilet and Chlorine Japanese voice actor, Hiroshi Kamiya and Yubi Ishikawa, both voices Captain Levi and Mikasa Arkarman in Attack on Titan. And it seems they're keeping the title where Nubilet is the higher up and Mikasa is the cadet. Interesting to know. Now, we don't know what Claudine's role is going to be, but I see this purple vision right there. Whoop, whoop. And I'm sorry, but guns? Probably a new weapon type announced? <laughs> I know it's not going to be like that, but perhaps we could use her gun in her elemental skill or burst. That ought to be cool. Speaking of voice actor, Sampo 2.0 right here is also voiced by Daisuke Ono. We don't know who that is. What? Well, now you know, right? I wonder what Wild Leslie rules in Fontaine is going to be. Perhaps related to the steampunk? He might be Charlotte's boss? And if he does, then Sigo Winner or Bailu 2.0 is probably his assistant. And many people are arguing that Riot Tesli might be blind, probably because the way he holds the cup, but that might be funny because he is reading a paper right now. We don't know about that yet. And next up is the Harbinger. Finally, we see another Harbinger residing in Fontaine, and that is Arlegino, or her title is The Name. She might be currently controlling Fontaine in her hands, or played a major part in here. Maybe she is controlling Fontaine through Linny and Lynette? We don't know. The mystery goes deeper and deeper. And also Nubilet. According to the Fontaine lore, which is Justice, he seems to be a person of high interest in there. If he is a judge, then the traveler relationship with him is going to be difficult. It's either that he's going to be a friend, or he's going to be a foe. There are no in between. And lastly, of course, is the Archon itself, Focalors, or Furina, her official name. In this teaser, she seems to burn something. What is she burning? And why does he seem bored? And what relationship does he have with Nubilat? And it seems that she is looking for some twist to happen. Perhaps the Traveler is able to give her the twist that she needed? All this info are coming out of the woodwork and making my head hurts. Oh, oh, one last thing. But let's look at the Japanese trailer again and hear Folklore's voice. I'm going to let out my inner anime knowledge here, but why does he say spoku? Isn't that something only boys usually said? Is there something that they didn't enclose here? Or am I just tripping right now? I don't know. And that's all of the thing that I could pick about all of this Fontaine teaser. Obviously some might be too far-fetched or I'm just pointing out different things, but what do you guys think? Anything that I missed up there? Comments down below. <laughs>